All right, guys, it's Tech Nitwit here. Um, we're gonna do a Sonoff Smart LED strip light. I think it's a Sonoff L1 uh, install here. I'm gonna do an install on my TV. It's not gonna be in this video. I'm just gonna do a basic uh, unboxing and overview on this guy and how to set it up. Um, you know, pretty much setting it up to a smart TV to give you some ambient lighting if you use a TV as a monitor for your computer. Um, or if you have a TV in a room that it's and doesn't have a lot of good lighting, this is your product. This is uh, awesome. I, I, I don't know if I'll use my TV in my editing room or I'll use my living room TV. I'm not sure which one I'm going to set this up on. Um, but this guy is super long. I mean, I can do, I could probably do an 80 inch TV and still have a uh, um, LED left. It's the five meter version. Um, I don't know which TV I'm going to put this guy on. It's the five meter version and it's it's super long so I could do like a, if I had a hundred inch TV it would it would, it would do it. Um, some of the stats on this guy it does have full RGB color it's got an RF remote or no I'm sorry infrared remote so you have to, you have to point it at it. Um, it does have multi um, plug adapters so if you live in the UK um, if you live in the United States or Canada any of those places, the adapters come in the box, so don't worry about having to adapt it to something different. Um, it also works with voice control, Alexa, um, Google, all those fun things. Um, it does also do T-Mail, which I've never heard of. I think I'm saying that right, or T-Mail. Um, you know, it also works with T-Mail, so it, it's awesome. Also, you can, you can DIY flash this guy, so you can run your own MQTT and own custom firmware. So you can have the device done up like how you want it. Um, there's a couple other brands that of these devices that are DIY flashable. Um, I will have a DIY flashable video about this guy that will come later on. So if you subscribe and like, well you don't have to like, but at least subscribe and you will see a video on how to set this guy up for MQTT and Home Assistant. Um, so I'm gonna do an unboxing quick. Let me take this guy apart. Of course this, this part is uh, they, this thing's like static suctioned onto it. Get the box open here. There's your LED strip. There's your instructions. I actually like the box. I wish Sonos would do this for all their uh, devices. I really do like the boxing in this one. It is. It looks really nice. It looks simple, and they got their their logo on all the the top left corners. I mean, they put some thought into this. Um, of course, they don't fill up the whole box with paper that's unneeded, unnecessary. So yeah, let me get this guy uh, set up and out of the way. So that's everything that's in the box, right there. All right, guys, I'm gonna open up everything that's in these boxes that were in boxes. I feel like I got Russian uh, dolls that you gotta keep taking it out, taking it out. But yeah, uh, anyways, I, I'm getting off topic there. So here we go. Uh, of course, instructions, you know, sewn off approved and TechNet would approved. They will walk you through on how to set up your device. Um, I think in a hundred different languages, if I know, uh, this one looks kind of small. Maybe it's 10 different languages. I don't know, I'm not checking, so. <laughs> so yeah, it comes with instructions. Um, or we, I would, I, what I would like to say, I'm not gonna say, but you know, you're watching this video, so you don't have to read those. That's you know, that's your excuse. So it comes with a power adapter. Of course, it comes with that snap guy, and that uh, that it comes with the different plugs. You know, it comes with your little uh, UK two pronger. It comes with your uh, sideways. Uh, I don't know, UK plug or Europe plug, European plug. Of course, we're gonna pick the American uh, flavor, snap it in there. It does have a retaining in there. It is it is really hard. You gotta press a button and it is really in there good. I mean, I would, it, trust me, it's in there good. It's not coming out. You don't have to worry about that guy uh, coming unplugged. So uh, going through the rest of the contents here, we uh, have our IR remote and device. That's gonna be this guy. You are going to need this for programming the device. So get this guy out. Of course, there's plastic in here. You got to pull this out. It activates the remote and then the battery. And then your sewn off device. So you got an IR adapter. You got your power. And then you got your plug for your uh, actual LEDs. And then the actual LED roll, which is this guy. And then 
and there we go. That is everything that's in the boxes. So that's everything that comes in the Sonoff uh, L1 LED kit. And uh, let's uh, get over to the install and I will show you guys how to set this uh, this bad mamma jamma up. Alright guys, I'm back here and we are going to do the LED install. Um, it's a pretty simple pretty simple job. Literally you just got to get your LEDs wrapped around what you're going to do and uh, do some stuff. Don't mind the noise in the background. I apologize about that. Someone is uh, making a meal right now. Um, it's actually pretty late here. We've been shooting all day. So I'm very, very thankful. I wish I had another room that was open in big space like this and that we could shoot. So I apologize. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug this guy in first. Get this out of our uh, way. Plug it into our test wall here. If I can get myself unstuck from the chair that I'm sitting in. And then there we go. Get that guy plugged in. And I will plug that guy in once I get this all set up. So I'm not going to, don't ever turn these on when they are in here. They overheat and it will, it will uh, ruin your LEDs. So other LEDs that I've seen come with that warning. I don't know if Sonoff has that warning in there, but they get too hot and they will blow themselves up and then you'll have dead LEDs. So I'm just going to start here. It does have double sided sticky tape, but I'm just going to come here and keep it, you know, kind of square. You want to get this laid out to how you want to run it first, kind of in the general area before you even pull the tape off. Or what you can do is pull the tape off in certain areas and then that will let you, uh, that will let you do your thing. Of course, I'll turn off some backlighting here. Hey Google, turn the den lamp off. Hey Google, turn the den light off. Sure, turning off den light. So as you can see, this thing is way long enough to do a TV. Um, this is my, that's a, almost its second pass. So, go ahead and get this guy plugged in. Now, I didn't see anything to match up the uh, siding. So plug it in. If it, if it lights up, it's working. If not, unpull it up and flip it around. So there we go. We have it plugged in correctly. Um, the way I'm looking at this, the 12 volt plus side on here is on the top of this device. So it says RGB on the top. So on your LEDs, you're going to have 12 volt. That's going to be on the top of this device. So we're going to move over to the cell phone here in a second. Um, but yeah, you can set up backlighting for like under a, a table, under a, a sconce, or under like a shelf. Like if you got under your fireplace, you can set it up. Or behind your TV, kind of like how I have this wrapped now. Is like to say if you... Uh, um, for instance, if you're going to wrap it like behind a TV and stick it to a TV to give you some ambient light. Um, or even under your cabinets. I mean, you could really run this thing underneath your cabinetry and uh, just take one of the outlets that you have in the wall or your backsplash and run uh, a wire up, fish it up through the wall and put an outlet. And then you can plug this guy in, drill a little hole, and then you're off. You're literally flying. You know, you're like a jet, jet airplane. You're just cruising. So... All right, so you're gonna hold the on button here for uh, to pair it while your while your device is uh, working. So I'm gonna pull up the cell phone here. Get yourself into the eWe Link app. If you don't have it downloaded, go to the Play Store. It's E W E L I L I N K. Um, that's Echo Whiskey Echo Lima Indigo November Kilo. So I'm gonna pull the eWe Link up app here. Give me one second. I gotta start uh, recording on my cell phone. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to see what uh, is going on there. So let's uh, pull that eWe Link app up. We don't want the camera that uh, that's been put away. So we're gonna come here and hit plus. We're gonna hit quick pairing. And as we hit quick pairing, it's gonna pull up your SSID. You're gonna have to enter in your your uh, network name for your Wi-Fi. It's gotta be 2.4 gigahertz. It, it will not work on five gigahertz, or it will not work on an integrated five gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So if you have them integrated before you do this split it apart so it shows two different networks. Um, a lot of the de devices that are smart don't work on 5 gigahertz integrated or two you know the 2.45 gigahertz integrated. They want a 2.4. If you don't want to unintegrate it and you have a guest account that you're not using or a guest Wi-Fi, what you can do is set that guest Wi-Fi up as your smart things Wi-Fi and use that just for your smart devices. 
So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to hit next. And now it's starting to pair. So I'm going to hold this on button until it sees it. And make sure it's pointing it at this device because if it's not pointing it at there, and they'll start blanking. And that means they're in pairing mode. You can let go of the on button and you're just going to let your Ewe Link app find the device now. It's going to take roughly 30 seconds to a minute and it'll find it and then you go on to naming. Now you want to remember naming your device is going to be key for when you talk to Alexa and Google. So you got to be very specific on how you name it. If you name it TV lights, you got to say, hey Google, turn on TV lights. And if you say, hey Google, turn on TV light, Google is going to say that device has not been set up yet or I don't recognize that device. Alexa is a little bit better on that fact. Alexa will will like, okay, I found that device and turn it on. So, of course, we found the device here. It's now um, going to be test wall LEDs. So I'm going to put that in there. So, all right, guys, pretty much it's now added. Now I can uh, I can turn it off, turn it on. And I can actually click on it and I can change the colors. And uh, it does have color pick, it has recent color, it has mode, and you have brightness. So you can make it real dim, real bright. The nice cool thing about it is it also has scheduling. So you could schedule this guy to turn on if you had it on like your bedroom smart TV. In the morning you could schedule that to turn on and get brighter and brighter and brighter. So you'd schedule it for like 6 a.m. and have it get brighter and brighter and brighter and at 6.30 it's at full when your when your alarm goes off, um, or say your your alarm's set for 6:20, you know, and then it gets brighter and brighter and brighter, kind of brightens your room up. It also has sharing and timering, which is really cool. Let me go through some of the modes that it has. Um, it's it's got some crazy crazy modes. Um, RGB stroke, you know, you guys are gonna see it here on the the app. Um, of course, I will put a picture in picture of me touching the different uh, modes that it has couple different seconds but it, it really has you know some some pretty cool looking modes um, I would like them to add a custom mode into here where you could mix the modes that would be pretty neat um, that is one feature they don't have I haven't seen a lot of LED light packages that have that um, you know usually it's just mode one two three four and that's it but this thing has you know a ton of different modes like that's gradient DIY plus, um, whatever, whatever that is. I'm guessing that's something where you can actually set it up. DIY breath. Um, that's going way too fast. And of course the, I want to have a heart attack strobe movement. Yeah. If you got epilepsy, warning right here. Don't watch my video. And then of course sync to music. A boom ba a a a boom ba a a a yeah I'm sorry I'm not gonna quit YouTube but I won't definitely not start singing so of course it's just going to my voice and there you go that's pretty much the Ewe Link app with the Sonoff L1 LED strips um, if you guys would be awesome please subscribe and then you can see more cool smart home videos and tech videos from Tut Nitwit. Um, other than that, hit the bell and that notification, and you will, you guys will get new notifications when I drop new videos. Um, TechNet without guys. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's TechNetwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like, and hit that bell. Thanks.